Seth Ravendahl from Black Lake Research and Development. I'm one of the founding engineers. And behind us on the lift is our Black Lake XT1. It's the first vehicle we've brought to market. And today we're gonna to walk around and talk about a lot of the technical features of the truck. I hope you find it interesting. So the first thing that most people see when they approach this truck or, or see us at a show is the suspension travel and the suspension in general. The truck behind us has 12.1 inches of front suspension travel. It's got internal bypass shocks uh, as well as hydraulic jounce shocks, both front and rear. The rear even being a little more unique and the rear is a custom five link uh, rear suspension design and we've used a watts link in the horizontal position in order to keep the truck completely emissions compliant with the production fuel tank. Up front, where we have the 12.1 inches, uh, it maintains the factory locations of a upper and lower wishbone suspension. It does retain the factory knuckle, the factory hub bearing brake package on a base truck, as well as the frame side mounting points. Uh, from that point, strut, the lower control arm, upper control arm, as well as a steering extension and longer half shaft make up the custom components in a Black Lake front suspension. Out back, the travel even goes up higher. Now we're at 17 and a half inches of travel, uh, and, and that is basically enabled by going from a leaf spring to a multi-link, a five-link suspension in the back. Uh, in which you incorporate two lower truck arms, is, is the name most people remember, as well as only a center upper link and then a two link or three link, including the, the pivot bar, horizontal watts link on top of the differential. Coupled with this, there's some long uh, 14 inch travel uh, due to the motion ratio, 17 and a half at the wheel, 14 inches at the shock, custom JRI shocks, which then do have to protrude up through the bed at the front. We've worked really hard to keep the installation nice and tidy and maintain the bed for those that want to be able to go out and take camping gear, beach gear, dirt bikes, whatever they want to put in the back of this truck, still be able to have a long travel, fun toy, and still be able to use the bed. In addition to the JRI shocks, there are lantern mark hydraulic jounce shocks. Uh, those jounce shocks replace the elastomeric jounce bumper in your truck and they provide an incredible performance improvement for a long travel operation when the suspension goes to full travel. That same technology is also incorporated on the front suspension. So the exciting thing about this suspension, even though there's only 12.1 inches of travel up front, with the springs and the shocks and the jounce shocks, that enables you a, a very high speed capability across the desert. That front suspension's primary responsibility is to always make sure that front suspension stays high enough that the front suspension doesn't get launched into the air by a bump that is larger than the capacity of the suspension to manage. Now in the back with that 17 and a half, as that front suspension becomes light and it runs over the top of the bumps, that allows that rear suspension to continue to stay in contact with the ground. It allows us to run a softer spring rate in the back, and so that allows you to maintain that rear contact patch, which is so important for keeping up your speed, keeping the stability of the vehicle. So immediately what people notice as we sit and talk about this suspension is the bodywork. Uh, they look up and notice how clean it is. Uh, we're really excited about the bodywork. It's amazing look. The artists and the industrial designers did a great job of keeping this, this bodywork to follow the DNA of the vehicle, but while still giving it that very aggressive performance off-road look. Uh, the bodywork is eight inches wider than production. That, that enables us to keep full wheel coverage. It allows us to keep the full suspension travel capabilities without hitting the fenders. Uh, and we've also incorporated full wheel coverage. For the panels, we chose carbon and Kevlar. The two reasons for that was to maintain the ability to fasten to the production body panel locations without the panels shifting due to the thickness of the panel, as well as the very high strength and durability that that composite layup provides us. Carbon, as we all know, is a very high strength material, allowing us to have strong, lightweight panels. Kevlar being the same material used in bulletproof vests, has a very high shear strength. So the carbon has very high tensile strength, combine it with the Kevlar for very high shear strength, and you get a very high strength, lightweight, durable panel. 
finishing out the body kit are the bumpers. Up front is a bumper that is matched to the fenders so that you get an even width bumper and fender line. This bumper, when mounted to the vehicle with 37 inch tires, gives you over 45 degrees of approach angle. Out back, we follow the same design philosophy with the bumper. Maximize the departure angle for those that are off-road. We've maintained the step for easy ingress, egress from the bed, as well as a steel inner structure underneath the composite shell for maximum strength. So as you're seeing, the truck here has a really high capability. If you manage to get this thing stuck or you're out with friends with the same capability to get stuck, you're gonna need some high strength recovery points. You see in the front and rear is we've integrated D-ring mounts just for that situation. Another exterior feature that people see and that often want to customize are the tire and wheel package. The truck behind us is on a set of 37 inch BFG KM3s with method bead grip wheels. What an amazing tire package. We have been out running this thing hard in the desert with reduced tire pressures, didn't slip, didn't DB, didn't lose air pressure. Highly recommend it, but of course we support whatever the customer's choice is as far as where they wanna go with their wheels. The best part of this truck is being able to enjoy that integration of all of these components brought together in the performance that they give. Starting with the suspension travel that we previously mentioned and being managed by those powerful JRI shocks, the lantern mark gel shocks, the steel drive shaft for durability in the back, the high strength 4100 series components, 6.2 liter GM power plant with a supercharger on top of it, the cat skin interiors, the solid state control, and the carbon body that gives you that go anywhere look. It's a lot of fun. If you're still with us, you're realizing that at Black Lake, even the details have details. And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out on teamblacklake.com, our Instagram, blacklake.xt1, or call us up on the phone number on the website. Thanks for your attention.